Welcome to this week's edition of the Central Arkansas Football Report along with a victorious head coach, Clint Conk. I'm Justin Acre. The Bears pull one out in a very difficult place to do just that. 27-26 over McNeese State. Coach, congratulations. And you knew it was going to be, I think you told me, what was it, two screws and four, four buckles? Two or? screws and four buckles. And it was just that, wasn't yeah, it? Very physical, violent game. Uh, two pretty good football teams out here tonight. Very difficult place to get to, very difficult place to win. Um, you know, the formula is to defend your home field and you got to try to find a, a way to steal one or two on the road. And certainly we feel like we, we got out of town with one tonight. Yeah, we got a lot of ties to this place. You were here a couple of years. You got a couple of former assistant coaches who were with you last season who are here now. And uh, I guess more importantly, a lot of times the, the conference championship rolls through Lake Charles and, and may be the case this year. Yeah, no question. You know, they've been the gold standard and the flag bearer for many, many years. You can look over my shoulder and there's all those conference championships and rings. and. Uh, we knew it was going to be a difficult task, and, and, and yes, you know, I, you know, just a, a great compliment to our football program uh, that they would hire two of our assistant coaches. Uh, certainly a lot on the line tonight, a pretty good crowd, a nice night for football, and yeah. uh, uh, we made plays when we had to. It wasn't always pretty, but uh, at the end of the day, the Bears came out with a win. Yeah, as I said during the broadcast, 12,900, I think, in attendance and 13,000 Cowboys. I couldn't figure out the math on that, but it was certainly loud, great environment for college football and a great win for your team. One, one of the real nice places to play in uh, Division One FCS football. And having been here, I kind of knew the environment. And, uh, you know, our players, uh, they rose up to the occasion. Very proud for them and our assistant coaches. And I tell you, there was a lot of strategy and a lot of uh, uh, a lot of adjustments that had to be made uh, for us to, to come out with a win tonight. Yeah, well, it's one of the newest rivalries in the Southland Conference, and folks, it might be one of the hottest rivalries in the Southland Conference. We'll talk more about that coming up. Sponsored by the Conway Chamber of Commerce, AT&T, All Clean Restoration Services, Crane Automotive, AT&T Real Yellow Pages, Sonic Drive-In, Log Cabin Democrat and Zaxby's. At Zaxby's, all of our salads are made fresh to satisfy any craving. Like the blue, with a bold taste of real blue cheese and buffaloed or blackened chicken. The house or the Caesar. With so many flavor packed choices, you'll be seeing salad in a whole new way. Guess someone forgot to tell us that salads are supposed to be boring. Zaxby's, indescribably good. The Real Yellow Pages, yp.com and yp.com on your mobile. More ways to search, more ways to find. Only from AT&T. Welcome back, and uh, before we go much further, I wanted to mention too that uh, although McNeese did come up short, the hometown fans, they had something planned there. I guess they're gonna sleep here overnight. Kind of a, kind of a nice little touch. Nice deal, family uh, night. I think uh, sponsored by the Boy Scouts maybe, and uh, so all the young people you hear are not our fans, they're actually uh, uh, young people and their families that are going to be spending the night here in Cowboy Stadium. Yeah, win or lose, I guess, they're going to be out here. But uh, two top 20 teams, Coach, and we talked about the rivalry in the first segment, alluded to it a little bit. Four and three now all time, and it's the first time a road team has gotten a victory in this series, so certainly a significant win for a number of different reasons. But you get to retain the Red Beans and Rice Bowl another year as well. Absolutely. I don't have anything for that table, so uh, <laughs> uh, and the players have really bought into that part of it. But they know there's another trophy potentially down the road, and uh, this win tonight, in a very difficult environment with all the cowbells. Uh, keeps us on track to, uh, you know, for another week. So uh, really excited about the win. Yeah, three and one now in the conference play and five, fifth win of the season. So uh, certainly a big one. Let's go ahead and get into the first half highlights. And Bears did not win the toss, but the Cowboys deferred. So you did start with the ball first. And here's the opening kick. And boy, nice to play a game with no rain, huh? Yeah, really the last couple of weeks have been uh, kind of bizarre, particularly two weeks ago at uh, Stephen F. Austin. but. Really nice job. I uh, thought we had a good scheme here. Um, we had two long returns called back for penalties. Uh, this one here and then one of Jesse uh, Grandy's uh, punt returns. So backed way up on about the 13 yard line, but uh, this drive goes 12 plays, 87 yards. It eats up uh, five, uh, four and a half minutes. Uh, and a great job of uh, setting the tone 
uh, you know, for our football team on the opening drive. Yeah, I thought that was a big deal, too. And this is Dominic Kroom fighting through. I think he had seven, eight catches in the game, Coach. And this is a team, McNeese State, that has done extremely well. I think they'd outscored their opponents 111-16 to 16 in the first half coming into this game. So they've gotten off to hot starts. And if anything, you guys have been finishing well, but certainly getting started well has been a little bit of an issue. But, well, you come out gunning right here. You want Desmond Lewis, the sophomore from Mesquite, Texas. We saw Dominique Kroom, uh, the senior from Cherokee, Alabama. We come back to Dominique. Good job there finishing. Um, gets us close here. Um, I decided to go for it on, uh, on fourth down, I believe, on this drive. Uh, nice blitz pick up there by, by Jackie Hinton. Go back to, to Dominique again. And, um, you know, and again, I thought this was very important to set the tone. And we come back here with the quick screen. We were changing tempos on McNeese. And you can see right here, he does a lot of the work uh, downfield. And, Jesse's able to get in to finish the drive. Boy, great blocking downfield and a nice job. Just individual effort by Jesse Grandy. Loses a couple of guys and then lets, lets another defender ride him into the end zone there. 36 yards from Smothers to Grandy. Uh, an 87-yard drive, Coach, and I know that had to please you. Seven zip bears. Great way to start the game. And then right here, this is our first really defensive snap and a great hit right here by true freshman Ricky Wyatt coming back to his home state of Louisiana, the freshman from Monroe. Uh, they run a bubble screen of themselves. Uh, good pursuit. You've seen some good quarterbacks this year, Coach, but I think Cody Stroud might be the most improved guy we've seen calling the signals. No question. And, and when he was able to stay on his spot, uh, he was outstanding. Later in the game, though, we were able to get three sacks and uh, make him, you know, have to hold the ball or, or, or move around the pocket and let the pressure get to him. But you can see they're a very good football team. They're not ranked 17th in the nation or 15th in the nation uh, by accident. Uh, good teams are going to respond, and this drive will end on a 15-play drive, uh, ate up uh, you know, over six minutes. And they're playing very physical, both sides here. Jonathan Woodard, the, the redshirt freshman from uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Missed a tackle right here. You know, just, uh, you know, we didn't tackle very well in the first half and thought we did a better job in the second half. There's Darius Carey, they're really electric wide receiver running the, uh, the Wildcat. But again, the defense makes a stand in the red zone and we forced McNeese to a, a field goal in their opening drive. Yeah, they scored on all four red zone trips, but only two touchdowns. That was a field goal there that was good to cut the lead to seven to three. And this is a team that came in averaging over 240 yards rushing. You held them to 175 in the game. So certainly uh, a good performance in that regard. Here's another big return by the Bears and a nice quick throw. And we saw that quick screen game work. And boy, nice job by Desmond Lewis fighting his way upfield to make that a positive Play right there. Well, good job on first down right there. And uh, Justin, we lost another offensive lineman in this game. Uh, Kyle stole for the red shirt freshman um, coming up here pretty soon. But uh, I thought Bill Best did a good job of piecing that group together. We come back on the jet sweep. Senior Jesse Grandy from Pine Bluff. Very difficult to hit. Not a lot of uh, body surface there. And an outstanding catch by Clay Murphy, uh, the sophomore from El Dorado, Arkansas. Second quarter now. Nice little short pass over the, the middle right there. And a 41-yard field goal here is good. <laughs> and as, as you can tell, with it being 27-26 at the final, every point counted. And that became very apparent uh, a little bit later here in the first half and certainly as we went on through the game. Well, nice. once again, yeah, yeah just good outstanding coverage. job. And plus, they had a penalty tacked on. And, uh, but this was probably the most disappointing drive of the night for our defense. Um, they're allow we're allowing them to take it. 90 yards and 14 plays uh, on another, you know, six and a half minute drive. And, and right here, Stroud was on, on point here, threw it in between two defenders. Yeah, that might have been his best throw of the night. That was impressive. And when they run the ball as well as they do, I know that the play action becomes so much more impressive and so much more difficult to defend. And he's, he's certainly good with the ball and uh, it makes it difficult to defend. I know it sets up that, that pass game off that run. Well, and, and uh, you know, when you, when you play these guys, you got to stop the run, and they have a three-headed monster. Uh, their three tailbacks carried it 34 times, uh, Murray, Wiltz, and uh, Champlain. And uh, right here, they, they pound it down close. Defense a little tired. And uh, uh, right here, they're able to punch it in uh, to take the lead. Big play right here, extra point. You'll see it bounce back into the field of play right there. No good, so the Bears retain a one-point lead, 10-9. Yeah, actually, we retain the lead here. Uh, they sky kick caught us a little bit off guard there. We were fortunate to get that bounce, one of a couple of bounces that we got uh, uh, during the night. But again, perimeter blocking by, by Brett Soft, the senior. Uh, good job there. Uh, 
forced to punt, and this is one of the most dangerous receivers and return men in our conference, and uh, we'll see later. Uh, he's able to do some damage right here, catching the ball on the quick screen as well as a punt return late in the half. Good job right here. Yeah, let's try, try yeah. to run the, the option right there. Probably should have handed it off or uh, certainly wasn't going anywhere. Well, this was uh, McNeese's first punt of the night, and uh, they had good coverage. I think Randy trying to leak out there, did not call for the fair catch, unable to get through the shoestring tackle, though. Nice play by Desmond Lewis, though, finishing that run off right there. Well, he's six foot four, 195, 200 pounds. Good block by Soft. Uh, good strong run by Grandy. They come here with the with the blitz. Nice job by by Smothers hitting Croom on the on the short slant. We come back here with the run game, and you can see we get some push. Uh, unfortunately, right here though, we get a uh, a holding call and uh, backs us up. Now we're just trying to get out of the half. Nice run here by Terrence Bobo. Uh, the senior from Atkins, and uh, this is the, the special teams play that uh, really disappointed me. Probably should have kicked this one out of bounds. We missed three tackles right here. Yeah, I had him hemmed up. Yeah, and then uh, not only do they get a, a big run, but we, we later get a penalty. Uh, it's a good job getting him down at midfield, but we la later get a helmet-to-helmet a -helmet penalty uh, right here and uh, put them 15 yards closer, and they're able to uh, build some momentum uh, on the last play and, and kick the field goal to take the lead. Yeah, 31-yard field goal. So instead of going up by one at the half, you, you guys are down two at the break. Well, and we've been there, done that. We, last week we were down to Nickel State at home yep. uh, by one, uh, but uh, disappointed on the 90-yard drive. I know our defensive coaches and players were disappointed as well. And then uh, on that punt sequence right there, we probably should have punted it out of bounds. Then we allow him uh, probably a 40-yard return. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, I felt like right there, we probably didn't do as good a job as coaches yeah. uh, with that particular part of the strategy. Well, disappointed after the first half, really elated after the second half for this game, and we'll take a look at that coming up. Hey, Jay Myers here for Crane Buick GMC in Conway, and we are big supporters of the UCA Bears. What we want to know is, what's your favorite bear call? Bear call number one. Bear call number two. <laughs> Bear call number three. Go Bears! Go Bears! Go Bears! Vote for your favorite bear call at Crane Buick GMC's Facebook page, plus bring in your ticket stub for an extra $500 off your next purchase. Only at the GM Giant, Crane Buick GMC. Go Bears! Go Bears! Go Bears! Go Bears! The smoked Chipotle burrito is really good. Yeah, my zesty cheesesteak burrito is great. Are you familiar, Pete, with the phrase, don't mess with success? Yeah. Because this is not only messing with success, this is taking success to the cliff and shoving success over. Success said, oh, please, don't do anything. Leave me alone. These burritos didn't even hear that. They heard, oh, put, and that was it. It was just like, wah. <laughs> egg everywhere. Wake up to sirloin steak and fluffy eggs with the new zesty cheese steak and smoked chipotle breakfast burritos. This is how you sonic. Second half now, Bears kicking off, and I know like you did in the first half, I'm sure you want to come out and set the tone here, this time on the defensive side of the ball, Coach. Well, great kick, and then a big hit right here by Joe Carmichael, hold him to a 16-yard return. Thought it was very important that we try to set the tempo here. The little flat route really hurt us. Uh, well, and it's, it's a tight game, too, and I know you were trying to, field position was a big part of the mentality going in, I know, in the second half as well. Absolutely, and a lot of strategy involved by uh, both sidelines. Uh, good pressure right there uh, on the sack. Um, Justin Williams, good job, Justin. Uh, they're able to get a short completion, but we do force him to punt. I think that was Childress on the catch there, or on the uh, tackle, rather, Coach, and he had double-digit tackles in his first start. Yeah, real proud, proud of Blake Childress, and uh, again, no panic. Uh, you know, again, we've got good field position. At the very least, we want to maintain that. Uh, good job by Winrick extending the play, getting positive yards. That was on third down, and we're, we're forced to punt again. He didn't run a lot, but as you'll see, he certainly ran very effectively in the second half when you had to have it. Well, a great punt right there, 44 yards by, by senior Kevin Buford from Greenville, Mississippi. Good job right here by Childress again, uh, the sophomore. And this was an excellent job by Blake fighting through, just kind of missed the tackle, but um, got a favorable spot on third down, yeah. third and long. And, uh, and I thought Grandy did an excellent job of 
fearlessly catching that's, punts in hey, a lot of traffic. When you got six guys staring at you on top of you, waiting for something to go wrong, that's a tough grab to make. Nice push up front by McNeese right there. Give him credit. They certainly did a good job hemming it up against the run. And then I know that's one that, that Winrick would like to have back. Underthrown, trying to hit Brett Soft in the seam right there. And if well, he, yeah, made a mistake. They rolled to one safety, which you work the seams on that, but they blitzed off the back's free release side, so he should have hit Jackie on the wheel route, who was wide open. And uh, oh, what a great job right there triggering. We get the young man turned around, and then Dylan Winfrey, the true freshman from Bryant, comes up, secures the tackle. His second collegiate start. Good pressure right there and uh, forced the incompletion. When we made Stroud move off his spot and, and change the launch point, uh, we did a much better job of covering people. And again, uh, you know, we forced him to punt. This time, though, we're backed up. We don't have favorable, favorable field position. But I thought Winrick is showing a lot of maturity um, of coming to his check downs. And a uh, real nice job sitting in the cradle <laughs> right here. Hitting Jesse on the inside slant. Good job, Grandy. Yeah, you, you cannot touch Jesse Grandy and get him down. He runs strong, and you're going to have to wrap him up to get him down. Nice play right there by Jackie and Jr. I mean, it ran about 12 yards to get back to the original line of scrimmage. Great individual effort. Good job there on the blitz pickup. Able to get positive yards. Now we've changed the field position, um, and we go with the pooch punt. And just unfortunately, it hits, and uh, we're not able to, uh, to catch up to the football. You can see it's kind of turned into a field position defensive struggle. Awesome job right there by, by junior Justin Hurd. This is a third uh, and long conversion right here, Coach. I know yeah, this is disappointing. disappointing, yeah. Um, you know, we just got to be a little bit more aggressive on the outside. Um, Fourth quarter now, and there was no scoring in the third quarter at all. And uh, But, boy, there was plenty of fireworks in the fourth quarter. So you guys all saved it all up, I guess. Well, we, 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 we're not getting off blocks. They ran the one-back power several times. Um, and they just locked us up and we didn't, you know, didn't get off blocks. And uh, once again, they hurt us in the flat, which seemed to be a theme throughout the night. And now they've, uh, they've changed the field position and they've got a long drive of their own going. This, will, uh, this was a 13 play, 80 yard drive. We had a couple of missed assignments, uh, which aided them in a couple of penalties, I believe. And, you see right there, Blake Childress, uh, we had seven tackles for loss. We came in in the top ten in the nation, I think averaging right at nine tackles for loss or a couple under our average. But you can see right here we missed some run fits, missed a tackle, kind of gave a matador effort there, not very good. And um, defense probably a little bit tired, but uh, they are able to go 80 yards. And 19-10 at this point after the extra point, and it's, boy, a six-minute drive, I mean, that's got to be hard on your defense. Well, we made a, a substitution there with Terrence Bobo on our – kick return unit, and he gives us positive field position. Uh, that one could have been a helmet to helmet possibly, um, but a good job on the quarterback run, good job on the outside read zone, we run it again. Nice job there by Alec Willis pulling out, the red shirt freshman from over in Guyer, Texas, and then running the football pretty well, and we go over the top and we hit Grandy on the on yeah. the deep post route. Boy, you want to talk about sneaking in between a, a corner and a safety right there. He ran inside the corner and then had the safety kind of turned around right there. And a nice ball over the top and a, boy, great concentration. His second touchdown catch of the game, 33 yards, five plays, 64. Cuts the lead to two at this point. Well, another big time tackle there by true freshman Ricky Wyatt. And uh, again, they come back with the, with the one back power. Yeah, Justin Hurd going low there, nice tackle. Bad snap, but boy, he killed this punt. It's my cousin, by the way. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, I uh, disappointed here. You know, big return right here. We got some excellent block. This this flag was thrown about 35 yards behind uh, the return man. So, and on the opposite side, yeah, for good measure. But um, again, uh, Winrick uh, made a bad bad decision there. One he'd certainly like to have back. So your your defense put yeah. him in a bad situation yeah. here on a sudden change. Again, we got to be able to get off blocks a little bit better. And, you know, McNeese has a very veteran offensive line, seven seniors in there two deep. We have one. And, uh, again, we had the perfect coverage here. We missed an assignment twice. Um, and uh, they're able to, to get it down close. Kickoff here now. And... Uh... Bears are trailing 26-17 after that score. 3.28 to go here. 
Well, and, and you know, we don't have a lot of panic. Again, nice job there by, uh, by Winrick hitting the check down to Jackie Hinton Jr. from Shreveport. Good job by Jackie. Good job right there on the quick game to Brett Soft. And again, we're in a two minute situation. We have all three timeouts left. Again, on the check down to Hinton. Now we're on the McNeese side of the field. And I mean, obviously uh, we, need a, we, need, we need two scores. Uh, we thought it was very important that we get in at least a field goal out of this drive. Uh, but again, I thought Winrick showed tremendous poise coming back down here to Bobo. Um, right here, this one's really close. Could have gone either way. Um, and yeah, Brett Soft almost yeah, big pulled hit right there. Took big a shot. hit. And then this this is where fourth and ten right here. Winrick uses athleticism, gains 11 yards, puts us down close. And then once again, uh, he's able to extend this play uh, using his feet. Two hands on the ball, all his fundamentals are good. Gives big Desmond Lewis a chance. And a nice catch, very aggressive with his hands. Yeah, I'm not sure that was good in an NFL game, but it certainly counts in a college game. Great job getting a foot down inbounds. And 26-24, you go to the onside kick coach, and this is as good as we've ever seen it. And you said the funny thing is, it didn't work very well in practice. You guys get it when it counts, though. Well, it did, and a true freshman, Jay Stinker, did a, did a heck of a job. We get the ball back, we're able to make a few yards here. Then we bring in Eddie Kamara, the sophomore, from 47 yards, a career long, and, and he really piped it. Probably would have been good from 55. Yeah, beautiful kick, and that's 27-26. You get the lead back by one. Still got to make a defensive stand. They're running out of clock. They've got a couple of timeouts, and uh, you guys are able to, to get a stop at the end. They try multiple um, laterals. laterals and just couldn't pull it off, but luckily for the Bears, they hold on for a 27-26 win. Well, uh, very proud of our team. Uh, certainly, I thought defensively we did some better things. We did give up two touchdowns in the fourth quarter. We just got to get off the field. They had a 90-yard drive and a couple of 80-yard drives, and that's disappointing. Uh, but they also had some stops, and those were critical. And, uh, and then the offense responded when we needed to, and I thought we got some really good special teams play. But we do have to clean up the fouls because Grandy would probably be leading the nation, and then some on punt returns yeah. have uh, several of them not been negated. It's okay to give up two touchdowns in the fourth as long as you get two in the fourth and you get a field goal as well. That's right. I think they got the movie going here. I think they definitely do. Our plays of the game now, the onside kick, of course, we go back to that coach and we, you know, combo that obviously with the field goal, but boy, executed it perfectly. Right, great execution there by our onside kick team, true freshman Jay Stinker, Desmond Lewis did a great job keeping it inbounds in the recovery, uh, set us up for the second play of the game, which is the 47 yard Eddie Camara field goal, which was the difference in the game. And I do want to give credit to sophomore Parker Carpenter as our snapper, senior Seth Allison, the holder, and of course that entire unit. And of course, Eddie did the hard work banging it through. All right, we'll be right back with our players of the game. Stay with us. If you're coming to Conway for football, get ready to put your game face on. For shopping, dining, accommodations, and more, come for football. Stay to play. Learn more at ConwayArkansas.org. Whether it's Kevin's smartphone, Mom's smartphone, Dad's tablet, or Lauren's smartphone, AT&T has a plan built to help make families' lives easier. Introducing AT&T Mobile Share. One plan lets you share data on up to 10 devices with unlimited talk and text. Add a tablet for only $10 per month. The more data you share, the more you save. AT&T. Welcome back. Time now to take a look at our players of the game. When we start on offense, Coach, and I guess you can make it offense slash special teams, Jesse Grandy. Yeah, Jesse Grandy had 189 all-purpose yards, uh, four receptions for 93 yards and two touchdowns and uh, gave us two speed sweeps uh, for 16 yards. So a big night for the senior from Pine Bluff. And on the defensive side of the ball, I know you were you hated to be without Roger Jackson, but boy, Blake Childers came in and did a great job for you in his first start. Yeah, the sophomore from Mesquite, Texas, uh, double digit tackles, 10 total tackles, had a tackle for loss. He was excited about making his first start and uh, certainly played very well for us. And time now to take a look at our log cabin stat of the game. and. Uh, 
Had a, had a few numbers, certainly held them well below their average rushing, three sacks in the game. But we're going to go with 97 yards rushing, certainly a key element for you guys, especially late in the game. Well, they were only giving up about 63 yards a game right. rushing. And, uh, you know, we just we, just confidence in what we were doing. Obviously, the quarterback runs gave us some plays, uh, but we thought it was uh, very important that we at least present a run game, and we did that and more. And uh, very proud to have nearly 100 yards rushing. That's kind of our magic number. You know, yeah. it was real similar against Sam Houston. and. Uh, uh, and again, Bill Best and that offensive line, I, what was left of them, did a heck of a job, and I thought our running backs and the quarterback ran very hard. All right, well, certainly a huge game brewing uh, next week. You guys are still perfect on the stripes. Lamar comes calling. We knew what a dogfight that was to win down there last year, but certainly you take a huge step forward this week and you can keep it, keep it rolling a little bit with a win over Lamar next week. Well, this will be a long you know, trip home. Uh, we probably won't get back till 6, 7 in the morning, but, uh, you know, we leave here as the only uh, team to have a winning record all time against uh, the current schools against McNeese and we'll treasure that for a year but we got to get well Justin we need to have a good week of preparation a good week in the weight room a good week in the training room put a good plan together of course Lamar is extremely talented but we're uh, terrifically excited to be playing at home next week in the friendly confines of the stripes there's no doubt about it well listen they're going to watch a movie here I think you guys watch a movie on the bus and get going up there. Coach, congratulations. Big win. I appreciate it. We're really excited, Justin. All right. Well, certainly a lot of fun for the Bears after this one. 27-26, they win it. We'll join you next week after the Bears match up with Lamar on the Central Arkansas Football Report. Uh, first of all, I just hope I get the opportunity. You know, we had to go through an onside kick first, and after we got that, I knew, I knew it was going to be on me, and I was just, I just getting my mind right and hoping for the opportunity, and it came, and I'm glad I kicked the way I did. Talk about the onside kick. Oh, it was a great onside kick. It was great. Uh, Dinker, a true freshman in there, and kicked the best he could, he could kick, and it was just an amazing kick. So. Well, your, your kick to win it. Uh, talk about it a little bit. You said uh, you just won the opportunity. Was it a good, solid kick? kick. It looked like a, you had a good hold. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah I gave it to my, my, my snapper and my holder and my line. I mean, they've been doing a great job all year. We haven't gotten one block. And, I mean, this is my longest kick, I, I think, in, in this uniform. So, yeah, I mean, it was just a great opportunity. So, I'm just, I'm just grateful. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Justin. <laughs>